So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys six tips and how you can start learning how to study absolutely anything academic. So by the end of this video, you should have the tools to instantly start studying well and effectively to better increase your grades and also just do better with your academics in general. So if you're interested in that, then please keep watching. and my channel name is Nella Grace, is a student lifestyle channel. If you don't know who I am, I am currently a medical student. I'm a final year medical student and I've actually been in university for going on 10 years. Yes, I've got a bachelor's, first class bachelor's in my biomedical sciences and now in my final year of medical school. So all of my life, all I have known is education, is how to study and how to learn. And I feel like if anyone knows how to do that really well or how to do that really bad, that's me. So I thought I'd give you guys my best tips. These are things that elevated me from being an average student in medical school to be getting you know, first class in absolutely all my exams. And I thought I would share with you guys all those tips from someone who's had ample experience. I'm literally a professional student. So if anyone knows anything about studying, then I'm your girl. So let's share with you my first tip. So my first tip is something that I actually only learned about two years ago. I had no idea about this. If you are like me, if you're anything like me, then uh, most of you watching this are probably studying wrong. I know, I know. No one wants to be told that they're doing something wrong, right? But this is where I was. So about two years ago, this is how I studied. And if you resonate with this, then give this a thumbs up. You probably are taking notes, highlighting your notes, retaking your notes, maybe watching your lectures, watching something, whatever it is that you're trying to learn. This is exactly what I used to do up until two years ago. I have not taken notes in medical school, proper notes in about two years. And this is why. Note taking, highlighting, rereading is actually the least effective way of recalling information, of studying. Because what you're doing is very passive. It's called passive learning. This is what we do because we feel like we're doing a lot of work. We feel like we're doing a lot when we're writing our notes and then rereading them and then um, highlighting them and all these things. We feel like we're doing a lot of work. So we just do it and then we see our friends do it and then we think that's the way to study. But actually, scientific studies show that this is actually the least effective way of studying. So how do you study? So the way to actually study is called active recall. I've shared a lot about this on my Instagram and I have go into it in a little bit more detail there. But I thought I would just brush on it quickly here to kind of give you an idea of what it's all about if you had no idea what, it, what it's about, if you've never heard about this before. So active recall is a way of studying by recalling information in an active way, as it says in the in the name, right? So it means basically studying with questions and answers. Things like that we do with active recall that we don't know we're doing, active recall is things like flashcards, is things like um, going over exam papers and trying to do an exam paper because you're actively recalling information from your brain. You're doing a question and answer type of studying. This means that your brain is working harder to try and remember the information that you have learned at least once or twice or three times without just passively writing it down. So you're asking yourself questions throughout your studying method. This is called active recall. Instead of writing notes, what I do is I write questions. So when I'm going through a lecture, I will write questions for each single slide and I'm reading through the lecture and I'm learning. This also helps your concentration, especially now that we're learning online. This really helps your concentration when you're doing online learning. So this is the way in order for you to be able to actually retain, not retain, but recall a lot more information. And studies show that even if you just do this method once, if you just read through a lecture once or read through your notes once and then do active recall with question and answer, studies show that people who do this actually come out with better grades. I think it was double or three times better grades than people who just write their notes, rewrite them and highlight them. So this is definitely a proven way to study and this is the number one, number one way that I would recommend that you start doing today if you don't already do it. It's very difficult to do and get used to, especially if it's not something that you do often, but once you get used to it, I promise you it'll be worth it. So that's the first tip. Okay guys, so my second tip about learning anything, what I have learned in my experience of studying is using the right resources. I find that sometimes, again, students, we're never really taught how to study. We're never really taught what is the most effective way of studying. So we don't know where to find the right information, the right books, the right resources. And I find that using the right resources will really shorten your time that you spend doing useless things like useless studying. So for example, um, using the right resources, uh, videos, 
books, lectures, the notes that you're using, whatever you're using, it needs to be the right resources. I learned this in medical school. I didn't used to do this in my bachelor's, but I learned this quickly in medical school that I had to find the right resources because I didn't have the time. I didn't have the time to start looking at like 10 different books on, on one thing. So I learned how to find the right resources. So the resource that I actually want to share with you guys today is a amazing anatomy based resource for those of you that are in medical school or in kind, any kind of like healthcare field or maybe you're just interested in anatomy and it's called Ken Hub. I've actually shared about this um, resource before on my Instagram. A couple of months ago, I was telling you guys what my best study resources are, what I found. Um, and again, I share a lot on my Instagram, guys. So if you feel like you want to follow me, then you should. <laughs> um, you can find that here. But this resource is called Ken Hub. I have been using this for about four, maybe even five years. I remember a few videos back, like a few years back, I even shared about this resource before. But Ken Hub have actually partnered up with me on this video and sponsoring this portion of the video to tell you guys more about um, Ken Hub and what they do, which is amazing because I've already been talking about them anyway for years and years and years. Um, so it was perfect because I know I've used it, I use it. I thought I would share with you guys about it. So Ken Hub is an anatomy based resource or just a medical based resource. It doesn't just have anatomy, they have anatomy, they have histology and they also have medical imaging. These are the three things I found hardest in medical school. Anatomy, histology and medical imaging. Even now I found it very difficult sometimes to interpret CTs and things like that but Ken Hub has these things for you and what's great about it but it goes with the first tip that I told you guys about which is active recall. So what Ken Hub does it has articles, it has um, atlases, it has quizzes, it has um, it quizzes tailored for you, it shows your weak spots and basically what I love the most about it is the atlases because what you can do is you can learn or the anatomy or something, let's just take a bone, a humerus for example, they have different sections on the website which shows you obviously how to learn about this and they um, have this so you can learn it first of all and then the atlas what I love about it is the active recall method of learning that they have because then you can start actually learning in a way that's going to recall information. Ken Hub is the only resource that I remember using when I was doing anatomy a few years back that I can actually visually see in my head what it is that I was learning and I remember it from Ken Hub. So if, you want, if you're struggling to study anatomy, I get this question a lot. How do I study for anatomy and how do I use active recall? Atlas is your best friend. Ken Hub has that. It also have articles that teach you more not just in visual format but also in word format if you're struggling to learn histology that is for you if you're now maybe in your clinical years and you're st you're really struggling to interpret imaging especially like you know chest x-rays and cts and things like that then ken hub again is for you so if you guys um are interested to kind of join Ken Hub, they have a premium version too that you can join. I will be putting the link in the description down below so that you can click that link and also get premium. And if you are coming from me, then you will also get 10% off of that premium um, subscription. So I think that is great. And also in the future, in the next few months, I'll be doing little random Med Monday videos where I'll be doing a giveaway for um, the uh, Ken Hub subscription. So if you guys want that, you should definitely watch my Med Monday videos because you don't know when it's going to pop up. It'll be just kind of like a quick giveaway that runs probably for like a week or so. And then I'll be giving that out um, for the next few months for you guys to use that resource. So that is my second tip is find the right resources that work for you, that work for your study pattern, that also work for how you learn. Because this will absolutely save you time and it will help you to learn and study effectively. So this next tip actually goes really well with this last one that I just given you because when it comes to the right resources you also need to know how you learn active recall is about how you recall information but how do you actually get information how do you how does information get input into you and this is where we have that whole thing that you've probably heard about are you a visual learner are you a kinetic learner learner are you an audio learner i'm a big geek about studying and learning guys i've studied this um, not a lot but i've studied it a little bit and i've read a lot of books about this about like recalling information, retaining information, getting input information. And one of my favorite um, authors or one of my favorite scientists is Dr. Caroline Leaf. And she has a whole book that I will click here because I can't remember the name. I'll put it here about this, about how people best um, actually get information in, the input part of it. So you need to be able to know how best do you take in information. I best take in information through visual. I'm a visual learner, I'll call it. Um, so I input information through videos, through pictures, through drawing, through things like that. 
So that's how I best learn. If you're an audio learner, maybe you need to be listening to music while you're learning because it will help you to input that information. If you're a kinetic learner, maybe you need to be again drawing or maybe you need to be doing something um, like on your feet while you're learning. So learn how you learn and then pair that with active recall and the right resources. You see how it all goes together? You're going to be more focused. You're going to know exactly what it is that you need to be doing and therefore you're going to be do better and learn absolutely anything and also more effectively. So that is tip number three. Okay guys, so tip number four about this, and again, it goes with all the tips, it's about using the right tools when you are learning. But an iPad is absolutely life-changing when it comes to learning because this is what I use the most when I'm doing my active recall. It completely changed everything and I actually told you guys a lot more about it in this video that you can watch here. So I have a video about six student hacks that I have actually that shows you a lot of the hacks that I think are amazing, you can watch here. But that basically shows you the tools that you can use in order for you to actually make your study and your um, learning time a lot more effective and actually be able to learn more when you are studying. Is you should know your syllabus inside out and i mean the syllabus that you get in the module handbook at the beginning if you're in like your a levels at the beginning if you ask your teacher about your syllabus what you're supposed to be learning that year they'll give it to you and not only your syllabus but your exam outline those are two different things your syllabus is everything that you should be knowing and learning throughout the year but your exam outline is what it is that you'll be tested on and teachers will always have this because this is what they use to pick up the exam questions and things like that ask your teachers for the syllabus Ask the teachers for the exam outlines of the things that they will be taking the exams on. Pay attention in your classes because teachers will say, this is important, you should know this for the exam. Ask them, ask them what it is that's important that you need to learn. Get as much information from them as you can because this is what changed the game for me. So this is my fifth tip. This is the sixth and final tip on how to be able to learn anything, study effectively and also increase your grades in whatever field that you're studying in, time management. It's just how much work you have divided by how much time you have or want to give yourself gives you the amount of work you need to be doing every single day. I've got 30 topics, 30 days, 30 divided by 30. So I know I need to study one topic, just one topic and one question a day. This allows me again to study smart and not hard because I am not studying more than I needed that day so then I can have a life, I can have a social life, I can film YouTube videos, I can be with my husband, I can do other things because I'm not studying five topics when I don't need to and I'm not studying less than I need to. So for example, if you'd realize that maybe you need to do three or four topics a day, then you only study three topics or four topics a day and then you stop. That is the power of an exam timetable. That is the power of being able to start early and being able to manage your time. So guys, that is basically my six tips that I have learned, my six best tips. I'm giving you the, you know, creme de la creme here, the best of what I know. This is all I have to give. <laughs> to you is those, that is my six tips on how to study effectively how you can instantly start actually increasing your grade grade starting today if you use any of these methods in your next exam come back to this video and comment below if you did increase your grade so i just wanted to share those things with you guys and most especially being ken hub and their amazing platform amazing 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 platform for learning anatomy histology medical imaging a lot of things i've got a lot of articles on there so like i said go in the description below and find the link so that you can sign up to their premium access or to their membership access, which allows you to have so, so, so much resource. It is one of my number one, if not my number one way of learning anatomy and has been for years. So thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then comment down below and let me know which tip you think you will be starting to use like from today or which tip um, you think will be most effective in your study um, in your study time. I would love to know that. Otherwise, you can check out my last videos that I mentioned before. My study hacks are here and also the things um, and tools that I recently got from my last academic year that I bought that I think you might be interested in. You can watch that here as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys on my next video. Next, right, next video might be a Wednesday, my weekly, not so weekly podcast. <laughs>